Good evening and welcome to Poland Daily, the first English news program in Poland. I'm your host, Benjamin Lee. Popular social media platforms such as Facebook and Twitter have gathered a bad reputation over the last couple of years for systematically deleting conservative content. Another famous platform owned by Google, YouTube, followed the same pattern recently, deleting or demonetizing content published by conservative voices, showcasing yet another case of political censorship by the tech giants. The episode of I Believe by Paweł Lisicki was deleted from YouTube from Sensha TV channel. We're witnessing something we could call an attempt at censorship or limiting the freedom of speech. It's well known that I criticize the LGBT community and its policies in the show, but I also stress that I'm strongly against any acts of violence and any physical abuse, regardless of ideological or political views. Despite that, my content was removed from the platform. It's obvious that it's not about the alleged promotion of hate on my channel or the defense against violence but about keeping the critics of LGBT quiet. The Press Freedom Monitoring Center of the Polish Journalists Association spoke about the matter, expressing its fear that the huge internet giants are blocking conservative content, effectively censoring their platforms. The Press Freedom Monitoring Center of the Polish Journalists Association with uneasiness witnesses more and more instances of the conservative content being blocked by the social media platform YouTube, appeals the decision to be revoked and for such practices to not be repeated in the future. According to columnist Jacek Patan, everything on the internet is being monitored, since information can also be a weapon. These platforms were once considered to be true outposts of freedom, but it was clear that in time they would be tightening their policies and removing conservative content, since it's all owned by huge companies which are mostly run by liberals. For now, protests against such policies are bearing some significance, but who knows for how long. According to YouTube creators, since June 5, 2019, YouTube has made its policy much harsher towards conservative content, often deleting it on the basis of the alleged promotion of hate speech which rarely had grounds in reality. 20 dead and 29 injured in a shooting in El Paso, Texas. The perpetrator was a young man who was apprehended by the police after a few hours in the Dallas suburbs. Our correspondent from Los Angeles, Magojata Schultz, has more. At this point, it seems that this was the largest shooting in the United States in the last few months, with the highest number of lives claimed. The investigation will last probably for a few weeks and certainly for a few days. It's a terrible, terrible tragedy that has hit the United States. There is another question about security. Why was there no protection in the Walmart? Why was the perpetrator able to walk down the street with a weapon for six whole minutes? He wore a rifle, so it was visible. It was not a small pistol, it was a huge shotgun. In addition, the same type of weapon was used by the perpetrator at the California festival a week ago. The first massacre occurred on Saturday morning in the heavily Hispanic border city of El Paso, where a gunman killed 20 people at a Walmart store before surrendering to police. Texas Governor Greg Abbott said the rampage appeared to be a hate crime and police cited a manifesto they attributed to the suspect, a 21-year-old white man, as evidence that the bloodshed was racially motivated. Across the United States, in Dayton, Ohio, a gunman opened fire, killing nine people and wounding at least 26 others, police and the city mayor said. The assailant was shot dead by police. Storms of media controversy arose due to the entries of one solidarity opposition activist and a member of the IPN, Krzysztof Wyszkowski. Addressing the mayor of Gdańsk, Wyszkowski commented on Twitter regarding the commemorations planned by the Gdańsk authorities on the anniversary of the outbreak of World War II. In his tweet, he took shots at the private life of Alexandra Drukiewicz, who announced to take legal action. Dulkiewicz does not even know who the father of her daughter is, so it's not strange that she chose a German fraud and Jewish racketeer for her inept madness on the anniversary of the war. Citizens of Gdańsk, wake up and send this Tuskoid band of anti-Poles to the nuthouse. I am immune, and you cannot offend me, Mr. Vyshkovsky. I am not interested in the state of your mind, but you must bear responsibility for your words. Procedures defined by law have begun. In the future, I advise you of one thing, stay away from my child. My posts yesterday concerning President Dulkiewicz were too harsh. I'm sorry. The Polish army increases in strength as part of its territorial defense reaches 20,000 soldiers this year. 
Light infantry were recruited from local communities to fill duties such as serving the population during natural disasters and armed conflicts to limit the enemy's ability to gather intelligence and instill panic. Our reporter Rafał Trzewski gives us a look into the newly formed units of the territorial defense and asks young soldiers for their reasons in joining the ranks. And remember, the last two are not entering the building but are securing the sectors left and right. So you and you. We go near the building. Move. Windows. Mind the windows. What we organize here is a tactical training. We've split tactics to respective points and we teach each one separately. So when in effect all these points will form a chain of command that enables the soldiers to deliver. We got elements of green tactics as well as black tactics and our instructors are focusing in each respective field as they are representing soldiers the proper solution in each case to practice later. Look, if you go out here securing this sector, so you can cut out your own sector this way. Then you move and stay here. One here, two there. I'll explain it to you soon. Okay, let's move. The teaching points include entering the building and securing the first available room. That's part of a black tactics that concerns fighting in the city. I am in the army less than a year. My adventure started in November and December when I had 16 days of initial training. Right now, we are in the maneuvers that wrap up the year of training. Outside of the force, I am a student, graduating from psychology department, and I also have an office job working for human resources. First of all, I like shooting. I did not have experience in that before. Here, I trained in all positions, various kinds of movement between stations. This could be in the forest, or in the city, or in the village in mixed terrain. What have we learned? We learned how to live in such harsh conditions, how to get food and water that is indispensable. Lots of exercises take part in the terrain, a hard terrain. One day it can be our field of battle, so here we train. The territorial defense mission is supporting the communities, so we are not about to sit behind the desk in a comfortable office, but we train for natural disasters and other catastrophic events as well as war. That's it for today. See you next time on Poland Daily. But stay tuned for the Poland Daily Weather Report, followed by the Poland Daily Business section. Thank you.